So this is a project I've been working on for the last couple of weeks in my spare time. Um, it's basically a set of LEDs that are mounted in the hood scoop and they're all controlled by a uh, Bluetooth enabled Arduino microcontroller and uh, they're each individually addressable so I can create these kind of animation sequences uh, like you see here. And then the other cool thing is I actually made this app to control them all. So if you press, let's say, this first one, that turns them all off. The second is all on. This is blinking. This is moving over to the side. This is bouncing back and forth off of the middle LED. And this is the Knight Rider animation. So there's also some uh, options at the top so I can increase the speed. So this is the fastest. This is default. This is the slowest. And I can also put this in uh, burst mode. So let's say uh, I enable burst mode, which is that fourth button there. And then I do this one. It's just going to play for a set a number of uh, cycles. So here's another one. And then this uh, last toggle all the way on the right is basically just locking the screen on so it's not going to dim or turn off. And then the last thing is this, uh, the mini logo at the top. Anytime you touch it, it actually turns all of the LEDs on for as long as you hold your thumb down. And there's a couple other things, like you can change the colors of these lights that are going off, which it's not really focusing very well. But these are all connected to uh, the Arduino, like I mentioned earlier, which is powered um, by the car battery. It's hooked up to an add a circuit and a voltage regulator, and it's just sitting in my glove box. So um, actually it also has a power up animation so anytime I unlock the car after the car has been off for a little while it will um, do this blink sequence actually just once but uh, that's kind of cool because it's timed uh, with the um, the turn signals when they blink when you unlock your car. So yeah that's about it. I'll probably do another video that's maybe a better more focused version uh, of the app and then another one that'll show the hardware that's involved. So thanks for watching.